hi, this is Adam from ProCAD. So I'm just going to go through checking out and checking in an inventor file or assembly from Vault. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the assembly itself, so if I just go to this uses tab and I just expand here the assembly itself, you'll see that all the parts here are in the work in progress stage. So the next thing I want to do is I want to switch over here to inventor and I want to hit this tab up here, my vault tab, and then I want to hit open here. So this will open the file from vault and it's best practice to open using inventor itself to open files from vault. So I'll just browse here to my combo assembly and I'll just hit open and it'll ask me if I want to check it out. And just for now, I'm going to hit no. So over here you have the full assembly and over here you have this vault tab. Now you'll probably normally be used to a model browser that's also still available to you. But the vault tab will have the files and parts and it'll also kind of indicate what has been checked out and what hasn't. So if I were to make a change to this assembly I would want to check out my um, assembly itself. So if I use the check out option here you can see it's also prompting me to check out all the parts associated with that assembly. So if I just hit OK here, and it's going to ask me to want to update properties, I'll just hit yes to all. And the library parts here are not checked out because they're contained in the library, but you can see the other parts here have turned blue, and the assembly itself up here has turned blue, so everything is now checked out. So at this point I would make my changes uh, to the assembly, and when I'm finished making my changes then I'll be finished again, and I'll be ready to check back in. So up here you have the option for check-in as well. Uh, you can also right click on the full assembly itself and choose the check-in option, uh, either or. Uh, so I'll just hit check-in here and we have all our parts and our full assembly being checked back into our correct folders uh, in here in Vault. And just hit OK. And there you have it. Everything is checked back in. Okay, so I have finished working with my inventor assembly and I want to change the state back to released. So a minute ago I showed you in Vault how to change the state to work in progress, but we can also change the state here in Inventor itself. So I can select here the assembly and all the associated parts, and I can just right click here, and you have the option up here as well for change state in the Vault ribbon. Or I can just right click and I can go down here to change state, and then I'm just gonna choose released and hit okay. And now all those files are locked and released, so they would have to be changed back to work in progress again to make another change to them. And then if we tab back over to Inventor here, and we just hit refresh, you can see that that assembly is now released and its parts associated, which are contained in a different folder, but as you can see, they are also released.